GP2 gave us, and by far, the most exciting races at Monza this weekend. With WSR at Silverstone at the same time, there has been a lot of driver changes, but no change at the top of the grid, or almost. Here are the top three and the flop three of the GP2 weekend. Top three goes to René Binder. No, I didn't forget about the Austrian driver, who moved from Trident to MP Motorsports. And this move clearly was the best move ever to be made. And it paid because he had his best races of the season. I think it felt good for him to have cars actually behind him during the weekend. And I hope it will stay until Daniel de Jong come back. Top 2 goes to Archer Pic. Bad luck is still here, but less than it used to be for the Frenchman. Even if a braking failure prevented him from a podium in race 1, he led the whole race to until the last lap where Evans couldn't be stopped from overtaking him for the win. Second podium of this year from the Frenchman and he is currently the strong man in Campos Racing's team. And top one obviously goes to Mitch Evans. I don't think it's viewable here. He clearly was the man of the weekend in GP2. Everyone said what Palmer did last year at Monza was a miracle, but Evans just did better. From last because of, of a fair disqualification, he climbed up to the third place in the first race and fought very hard in the second race to have the, his first win of the year. Mitch Evans is finally back on the top, where he should have been there all year long. Now we start with the flops, and for the second time in a row, flop 3 goes to Rio Hariento. Second weekend in a row without points for Hariento, clearly losing his momentum to Rossi when this last one claim wins. His teammate also takes podiums, and he's the one who brings points home. Arianto needs to recover as Sochi if he wants to be remembered as a runner-up contender. Flop 2 goes to Nobuo Matsushita. Same comments done for Rio Arianto. After his win, Matsushita is nowhere to be seen. DNF in race 1 and only P15 in race 2. That's not what he used us to see from him. And he's lucky he didn't make ALT lose too many points to their contenders this weekend. And flop 1 goes to dance. It's a bittersweet flop because the only flop of the weekend was race 1, but that was some hell of a flop. If Lean's move was clearly his fault, missing Gasly's pit stop clearly was the worst mistake to make as the worst time for them. When Gasly was reacting so well after a spa disaster, he made it first to free practice. He claimed his first ball of the season and was leading the race by far. It's such a shame for the, the French team. And as Gazin says, it's time to buy some luck for all the team after some bittersweet here. Picture of the race was Sergei Sirotkin's move on Marcello and Harianto on race 2. And I think it was clearly the move of the year and this without DRS. So thank you for watching and fortunately the GP2 race break is so long, we'll see you in one month for the comeback in Sochi. Like, share, subscribe and see you in the chick flag. Bye!